Hey girlies, welcome back. Today we have an Abercrombie jeans comparison video for you. This was a request over on Instagram and I just thought I would make it into a YouTube video. I'm going to be comparing the 90s relaxed jeans to the 90s loose jeans. Some similarities, some differences. My preference would be the loose jeans. That's right now. Ask me in a month. Could be different. But right now, the loose jeans are my favorite. I keep finding that I'm ordering more and more pairs. So today, I'm going to try on four pairs of loose jeans and four pairs of relaxed jeans for you. I'm going to try them all on, which is this gray bodysuit. I already have the first pair on. I'm showing you pairs that are currently available. I do have one or two more pairs that I'm maybe not showing um, because they're either not available or they're dirty. But I feel like eight pairs is plenty. You'll get the idea. And as far as sizing details and all that, as I share each pair, I'll number it on the screen. And um, how about I'll number it and I'll put the size, but then you can go down below and shop based on the number. Because sometimes, even though it's weird with Abercrombie, but if a certain wash is on clearance, it won't be the same blank. So I will link, you get what I'm saying. But I am gonna let you know all of the relaxed jeans, I believe are 25. And then with the loose jeans, I have 25 and 24. Every single pair should be curve love. Cause as you guys know, that's what I buy unless it's a mistake. And any, it would have been a couple years ago that I would have bought jeans that weren't curve love by mistake. And I think I've sold them at this point or they're listed on my Poshmark. But yeah, I just thought different kind of video. If you want me to then go and style any of these jeans, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other recommendations, let me know. If you're new here, my name is Carrie. Welcome. I do a lot of Abercrombie videos, a lot of Abercrombie videos. Also some Lululemon, some other try-ons. We always cover the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Um, haven't done vlogs for a while, used to do vlogs. Currently building a house, probably gonna be doing vlogs again. But with that being said, like anything you wanna see, let me know because the comments really help and I feel like a broken record, but sometimes I just like don't know what to film and then some videos get like barely any views. So I just want to post what you guys want to see. So for pair number one, we're gonna start with the pair that I'm wearing. And as I said before, I'm gonna put every pair on just with this bodysuit so that that makes them comparable. I will link this bodysuit down below if it's still available. It is Abercrombie also. But these are 90s relaxed jeans and these have the asymmetrical waistband. I think these might have been the first pair that I bought. I wanted a pair of jeans that had the asymmetrical waistband. I do really like them. I've worn them. Maybe I'll also... I'll try to see any of the jeans that I have pictures of me like wearing out. Um, I'll put those on. So then you can kind of see different ways that I style them and worn them in real life. I, I don't know if I'll have all of them, but whatever I can find easily, I will pop up for you. Um, yeah, so the relaxed jeans, they fit in the waist. These are a 25. They are curve love. And then they're loose through the thighs and they're loose all the way down. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna put any shoes on for the video so you can see exactly how the length is of all the jeans. Um, I'm wearing, um, I am 5'7", and I always put all my sizing details down below for you guys as well. But these are just a really nice pair of jeans. I believe these may be on clearance right now, which probably means there's like two or three sizes left. Um, so, you know, just take that to note, but the relaxed jeans themselves, there's like 15 to 20 washes available. So you don't necessarily have to get the exact wash that I'm wearing, but yeah, so these are the relax. I'm going to go ahead and go back and forth, like with a relaxed pair and a loose pair. I don't know, just to make it different. So next I'm going to do this loose pair. These are super new. I haven't worn them out yet, as you can see, but they are probably like the closest wash wise, but these don't have the asymmetrical waist, obviously. So just so that you can see what these look like. And what I'll do is when I put these on, I'll put like a side by side clip of the two too. So you can see now the thing that gets tricky with my loose jeans is that I have two different sizes. So I've got 24 and 25. So the 24s are going to fit more snug than the 25s, but then also 
Like this pair is a 24, but my gray that's a 24, these fit more snug and it may just be that these are new and I haven't worn them yet. Or sometimes I wonder if it's just the wash makes them fit differently. So just trying to give you guys as much info as I possibly can. Uh, maybe I'd show you, this is another pair of a relaxed jean. So just kind of show you side by side, like how they look different even hanging on the hanger. Now again, these are 25, so it's like you have to realize these are a whole size bigger. So here's a 25 loose versus um, 25 90s relaxed, so we can compare. I just don't have like a blue wash here, but I don't know. It's it's really hard. Just by looking at them, honestly, the loose look bigger. The loose are, are like fit baggier, but let's just go ahead and keep putting them on. Also, like as you can see, as I have different styles, I feel like that makes, that makes a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on next, the loose, the 24s that I haven't worn yet. So I have on the loose jeans, and like I said, these are a size 24, and these have not been worn yet. They were in one of my last Abercrombie hauls, which if you're new, I have so many Abercrombie hauls, you can check out the ones from the last like month or two for things that would, you know, still be available. Um, these were from the Jen Reed launch. Like I said a couple weeks back, they I believe they're called medium wash, even though I feel like they're a little bit more on the light side. And I just feel like the loose look better, don't you think? They're more of like straight. The relaxed kind of have a little bit more of like curviness going on, and I feel like the loose are just straight. Now, because these are 24, they're a little bit looser like around my thigh, but I know after wearing them a couple times, that's not going to be the case from other pairs that I have. Also, mind you, I have a bodysuit and underwear on. So that kind of makes it more snug. When I first got the 24s, I felt like I would only, I wouldn't wear a bodysuit. Um, but that has like been fine. At first I thought like the rise wasn't good. Usually when I wear a bodysuit, I don't like wear under underwear also though. But like when I'm filming, I do because they make sense, right? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> It's just letting you know if they look like a little bit snug, like through here, that will change. But again, you don't have to size down, but like I wore, okay, so we went to a Super Bowl party and I wore a pair that I'm not going to share with you, but I wore a pair of these in the 25. And I mean, they're, they were by the end of the night, cause I was sitting all night watching the game. They were so huge. They were just like baggy, baggy jeans. So just keep that in mind. Like they're going to bag out every time you wear them. And it's not like you wear jeans once and wash them. I wear mine basically t until like a stain gets on them or like they smell or something. So they're going to bag out with every wear. So my thought is like you don't want them to start really, really baggy. Back to another relaxed pair. These are also considered a medium wash, although I feel like they look more like a light wash. And they've got what's called this yoke in the front. So this detail here, they call they, they call yoke. I don't know. <laughs> but these, as these are a little bit, like these have a little bit of stretch. That last pair did not. So you have to realize, like, it's not always just the style of jeans. It's going to be the wash that you get as well. It's not always the same. That first relaxed pair doesn't have the stretch that these have. And I honestly feel like these fit better than that first relaxed pair. And it could also be that the, the the pair had the asymmetrical waist, so that was kind of throwing things off a little bit too. But I do feel like these fit better for whatever that is worth. Uh, these are, I think, the newest relaxed pair that I bought. So I at first wasn't sure about this detail, but I decided to keep them. It's just something different. I have worn them. Next loose jeans are a size 25, so kind of consider 25 my true size at this point, but I do have some 20. I, guys, I don't really know. It's, it's getting so complicated to know what like my, I don't know. My true size is like 25 to 26, but if you're between sizes, you definitely want to size down with the loose jeans and then maybe even another one. But it just depends on how you want them to fit. So this is how they are supposed to fit. And honestly, right now, they're fitting perfectly. But sometimes I put them on and they're just so massive. So if you have days where you're just like, 
a little bit lighter like right now I'm on my period so like I want the bigger size I feel like it's not even a bad idea to have a couple size options but this is how they're fitting right now and so, but I love these I love these black ones I kind of want to get the black ones in 24 though just to have both options sometimes it depends on like what the rest of the outfit is too because obviously with a the bodysuit then I feel like you know the looser jeans like these are basically like you can almost stand and they're not even touching your thigh. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes you want that, but if you want a little bit not as big because maybe you're going to wear like a sweater on top, you know, there's there's that whole thing. So I'm not saying go get multiple sizes, but maybe try one wash in one size and one wash in another size. See what I mean? These are the loose jeans in a 24, but they fit really similar to the black ones like they're definitely maybe they're not as loose as those but they're pretty loose still and the waist is it's not that much more snug it's a little bit snug but not as bad but mind you I've worn these so that first pair of loose shoes in the 24 did not fit like this right like they kind of almost look like too small through here and I told you like I could feel right here like I could feel them here whereas here I can pull like all of that so that's where I'm trying to let you realize that they're going to bag out with time that pair now mind you that pair like I said is like a thinner denim so I don't know if it's not going to do that but I guess I'll see <laughs> but I feel like it's going to but see so here you go this pair and that last black pair like not that much of a difference and honestly like I just feel like these look better because they're not like so big. This is my relaxed pair that I have in gray. I think they're called Icy Gray and obviously a lot lighter and obviously a lot snugger. I think I've only worn these once so they haven't had time to stretch although they do have stretchy, some stretchiness to them. In all honesty, I feel like these feel like the 90s straight. I actually thought these were the 90s straight until I was like looking through my closet and I'm like, oh, those are relaxed. I didn't, I honestly didn't realize that they were. I thought they were straight jeans. Um, so yeah, another pair of relaxed, again, like more snug through like the upper thigh. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, these are just, yeah, they fit the waist pretty good. There's a little bit of room, but nothing crazy. And I do love this color. Uh, and I remember when I had put these on for a try on, like I feel like most people liked them. I obviously decided to keep them and I can't remember when I wear them, but I always know I've worn something when the tag is off, right? So whenever you guys see tags on, it just means I haven't worn it yet. Worn it, yet. it doesn't mean I'm going to return it. I might, but I don't take tags off until I wear something. This pair I'm so excited about. These were actually in my last haul. Um, these are loose jeans. They are size 25 and they have this fun little thing with the waistband here so you can undo the buckle twice on each side and then obviously they get uh much larger in the waist but I have already purchased these in a 24. I put the order in gosh it might have been I woke up last night to go to the bathroom and I realized that the denim sale was ending and I hadn't put my order in and it was two o'clock in the morning and the sales go by um like California time. So I don't know why I'm forgetting what that's called. Clock, so I had an hour and I was like, <laughs> so I quickly put my order in before I went back to bed <laughs> because I didn't want to lose the deal. So these are coming in 24s, but I decided not to ship these back. I could have shipped them back. Um, oh, which this is a side note, guys, but Abercrombie. We've talked about this in the past, but they don't do free returns in the mail. So it can be hard because if you buy something online, you feel like you don't want to pay the $7 to ship it back or for that to come out of your refund. So then you want to go to a store and maybe a store isn't close to you. But what I realized is that as long as you exchange one item, they will not charge you. So yesterday I actually shipped back four items but one I was exchanging for a different size. I did not get charged. Nope, and they're gonna send me the new pair. Now, 
If you're wanting to get another size and there's like a better deal going on, so you don't want it to be an even exchange, then you have to buy it separately because when you do the exchange, you're not going to get whatever the sale is right now. It's, they're just going to exchange it for the price of what you paid for it. That's that's what it looks like because I have started doing exchanges through the, through the mail because it's hard for me to get to my mall because it's an hour away and I can't be like running there, you know, every week. But yeah, so it just realize if you exchange one item, they won't charge you the $7. Last pair, 90s relaxed jeans in like a cream off-white color and obviously way more snug than the loose jeans. I mean, considering those were the same size, right? So completely different. And I have to say in doing this video, I'm honestly realizing that like, I don't even know if I like the relaxed jeans. I'm going to be honest. And even wearing them like from here to here, they just fit so snug. When I've worn these out and like seen pictures of them, they look really good. But I just feel like right now I'm just really embracing the loose jeans. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get rid of these. I don't want like to have things like go in and out of my closet so quickly. In a couple months, I'm going to have way more closet space. I purge a lot of things now just because of space, but once we have the house, I'll get to hold on to stuff more because sometimes I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Anyways, <laughs> these, just so you can see how these look and it just depends on what, what you like. And again, everyone's body is different, but if yours is similar to mine, this is what they're going to look like, and they're just going to be snugger. They're going to be snugger. They're going to be snugger here where the loose jeans are. That would be my take. At least that's it for today's video. We're all done. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know down below. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Like it if you did. Comment comment what else you want to see if there's if you want me to do this style video with something else let me know and I'll see you guys next time bye